Hey guys, this is Matt from Let's Do Something, an action take focused on the art of lifecraft. This life-changing exercise is called Steps to a Better Life. This is a simplified, easy-to-follow version of the lifecrafting process I go through every year. Every good experience I've had in my life, everything I'm proud of, comes as a result of following this process. And the exciting part is, this version of the lifecrafting process requires very little investment. I wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to change your life, so it requires only a couple of minutes a day. You don't have anything to lose by getting started. So if you're serious about crafting a life of your design, go ahead right now and get a piece of paper and a pen. I promise, I'm not going to ask you to do anything that takes a lot of time. You can stop at any point. So go ahead and write now and get those two things. I'll wait while you do that. Did you get them? Great. So here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and write the date in the upper left-hand corner of the page. Now, you're going to choose an area of Lifecraft to focus on. You can choose first-person Lifecraft as crafting who you are and how you view the world. You can choose second-person Lifecraft as crafting your environment, career, hobbies, and everything that you do. Finally, you can choose third-person Lifecraft as crafting your image, style, vibe, and everything concerning how others see you. So first person life craft, who you are, second person life craft, what you do, and third person life craft, how others see you. So if you want to change your first person life craft, go ahead and write I am in big letters on the top, followed by ellipsis. If you're going to choose second person life craft, write my life is, followed by an ellipsis. If you're going to choose third person life craft, write other people see me as, followed by an ellipsis. Then, you're simply going to write down three words or short phrases that you think fit the description. If you wrote, my life is, the three words might be challenging, love-filled, and broke. If you wrote, other people see me as, you might write driven, quirky, and weak. Then, get a piece of tape and put this piece of paper, along with a pen, somewhere visible where you can see it. Perhaps by your computer next to your bed, in your car, or taped on the bathroom mirror. And that's it. That's all I'm going to ask you to do for today. Go ahead. Do that now. Pause the video and come back. This whole process shouldn't have taken more than a couple of minutes. Did you do it? I'm going to give you one more chance to invest two minutes in yourself before I continue. Remember, you'll never have this moment again. Done? All right. So here's what we're going to do. Every day for the next week, I want you to spend a couple of minutes a day looking at them and adding two or three words or phrases to create a rich, honest, and full picture of where you currently are. If you're a member of the Inner Circle, you can take a look at the motivation article for each day of the week. These will give you specific things to think about and motivate you for each day, but it's not necessary to the exercise. So at the end of the week, as you continue adding these words, you should have 15 to 20 things written down that give an overall view of your life as you have currently crafted it to be. The next week, week two, what I want you to do is get another piece of paper. However, this time, you're going to make the date one year in the future. I'm going to start describing how you want to craft your life to be over the next year. If you're all boring... You might want to change it to exciting. If you're relaxing, you may want your life to continue to be relaxing. You might want to add the word entrepreneurial if you want to start your own business. Feel free to be as specific or as general as you want. Maybe adding something like 10 great friends if that's something you want. For now, just put down about three words and phrases. Once again, you're going to put this up right next to the other piece of paper that described where you started. Each day, you're going to look, think, and add two to three words. And there are motivational articles for members of the inner circle that can direct your introspection and choice of words. But they're not necessary to the completion of the exercise. At the end of the week, you should have an inspiring, full picture of how you're going to craft your life over the next year. At the end of the week, 
when you think that you have that full picture, you're ready for step three. During week three, you're going to focus on what it took. You're going to write that same date one year in the future. But at the top of the paper, you're going to write what it took in big letters followed by an ellipsis. You're going to put yourself in the position of someone who has already crafted their life the way you want to and look backwards, asking yourself, how did I get here? What did it take? You might write something like dedication or hard work. Maybe something a bit more specific, like networking. You can even get super specific, like asking my boss for a raise. Again, just choose three or so words or phrases to start off. Over that third week, you're going to continue figuring out what it will take to craft your life over the next years. From habits to character traits to resources, everything you're going to need. At the end of the week, you should have a clear picture of what you'll need to do over the next year to craft your life. Finally, once you've gotten step three done, it's time to move to step four, crafting your life. For week four, you're simply going to choose one word or phrase from your what it took paper and circle it. This will be your focus for the next week. You're going to spend a few minutes a day focused on that one thing, and you're going to write, remind yourself about it a few times a day. If you chose dedication, you're going to spend a few minutes in the morning gathering dedication, and then you're going to remind yourself a few times throughout the day to be dedicated. If you chose asking for a raise, you're going to spend a few minutes practicing asking, or a few minutes actually asking for the raise, depending on your level of readiness. You're just going to focus on one of these things for a week. The next week, you're going to circle another one. And you're going to continue to do that for the rest of the year. If you run out of words to circle, you can begin to circle some um, twice. Or you can add more words or phrases or goals. In this time period, there are several more motivation allegories for members of the inner circle to keep them on track focus their actions, but again, these aren't necessary to the exercise. And that's it. Follow these steps, and in one year's time, you will have crafted your life to exactly where you want it. If you're interested in going further with this exercise, make sure to click the link called Make This My Current LCE at the bottom of this page. If you don't see it, then go ahead and apply to the inner circle by clicking on the link in the top right called Inner Circle. Until next time, folks. Thanks.